You don't have to. Offline account. Yeah, so now we're live at the open to source tech zone. Where we're going to be working in KiCad. Working on creating another little technicolor triangle. Um, this one is a little smaller than the others. This one's going to have 18 LEDs total um, with the six. 18 little LEDs and then six on each side. So I've already started here. Watch the yeah yeah cool. Well yeah I don't really have too much skills yet, but um, I've learned a couple things and I've started out already. I just created a shape using this shapes using this utility and then you can select uh, prisms and then set the number of sides I set it to three or polygon three side polygon and then the circumradius to find the circumradius I took some measurements and then I went online to a circumradius calculator and then Basically started with the the smallest measurement was from end to end, and that was a hundred millimeters or ten centimeters. And so then I entered that in, and then got that number, and that was the inside uh, triangle. This one right here. And then this one is the outside triangle. And now, basically, I wanted to make it so there was about 11 millimeters between there and there. And we can just confirm with the measure tool that it is close to 11 millimeters, somewhere in there. And it's like 11.0122, and that's close enough for me. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna go with that, and then the other stipulation is that there's gotta be a hundred millimeters between here and here, and there's a hundred point three six one for some reason, and, but I'm good enough with that, so we'll just move on. So, I've created this to create basically the track, the routed track where the uh, lights will be placed and yeah I want to basically subtract the inside rectangle from the outside one and let's hope I get this right I think you start with the outside one and then you go to the inside one we'll select the inside one as well while holding control and then click make a cut for out of two shapes and then it cuts the inside out of the outside and there it is, we got the track for the LEDs. Then we want to just have to build the triangle around it and then subtract this from that triangle that we build around it. So let's do that. <coughs> um, good to thing to save, control S. And then we'll go back to this handy dandy tool right here. Create parametric shapes, prism, Three-sided. Now I gotta figure out the size of it that I want it to be. I want it to be maybe another centimeter. So then it's a half a centimeter on each side, bigger than the other one. And I happen to remember that the other one, this outside one, is 135. So then a centimeter bigger than that would would be 145. So then I'll enter that 145 into my calculator online, which is right here. And 145, 145, 145, execute. And it'll give us a number 83.715789. Basically, we just want to round that up to 84 
Um, I always like to round up for the tolerances in most cases. 84. And then the height of this, this is where we choose the height of it. Um, the last one I made six millimeters. It almost seemed like it could be a little bit thicker, thinner. Um, cause, but it didn't finish printing, but it had a good three millimeters. Like a two millimeters would even be good there. But I think I'm gonna just go with the same because I kind of like that thickness and it worked out kind of well. So so far, even though it lifted off the edge of the 3D printer, which is something we've got to figure out, but we will. Anywho, let's get it back at it. So I'll make it six millimeters thick, and then circumradius of 84, which we found with this handy dandy circumradius calculator, and then hit create. And now it created that, and then you can see on the underside, ooh, got very little material. Looks like maybe just a millimeter. Let's measure that distance. I wanted it to be like five millimeters, I thought. That's what I was going for, but my math was off. It's just two millimeters. Hmm. Right, because it was 80. That's what this ended up doing. Hmm. So, let's make it higher. Go eighty eight. Let's just try that and measure that distance. Four millimeters. Is that a good distance? What was this? Measure what I had on the other one. Could even look in the file, but this is right here. It's like half a millimeter, five millimeters. Okay. This one will be four, so it's going to be a little thinner. Which will be kind of neat to make it a little thinner wall. See how it handles that. Just a slightly thinner. 88. I like that number. Okay, so I can close out of this. Do the same thing that I did there. Just delete this distance. And I'm going to subtract. that, the other one and that, so I'm going to make cut out of two shapes, I'm going to save before I do, and there, I did. So I cut out the groove for the triangle, and then the, now the only one left to do is the inside one, we just got to cut out the inside, and to do that, we just go back into our create a shape, Plain prism, three sided, make it six millimeters, and then the circumradius is going to be something smaller than the inside one, which was a hundred. So let's make it like ninety. Yes, and we'll go into the circuit radius calculator. Uh, 85. This might be too small, but we can always just adjust. 49. Uh, if anyone knows a better way, let me know. Um, it's kind of a little bit of a guesswork process that I do sometimes. <laughs> but, you know. Okay, so that's there. Looks very close to the same distance. We'll just measure it with the measuring tool. 4.5. Yeah, it's a little bit more on the inside than it is on the outside. So that was the circumradius of 49. Let's try circumradius of 48. If 
close enough sweet so now I just hit close here and then select the outside shape and then the inside shape and then hit cut cut it to shapes and BAM so there we have it we have a triangle with a channel for the LEDs so this is the next part of the process is to do some I just realized I actually saved this over a file that I didn't really want to save it over but I'm gonna go save as now and then add channel dash pick one of these edges here, actually I'll just pick all of them and kind of go with the calipers here take the width of these wires all together which is like 5.4 millimeters I'm going to say 6 millimeters just to like be on the safe side so I can do each corner up to six millimeters, or I can do something different. I'm gonna try it different this time, because why not have some nice sharp corners if we can? But yeah, it's worth a shot. I mean, I think there's more overhang if I do it this way less overhang if I kind of cut the corners like I did before. Um, let's see. I'm going to see if I can even do it this way. So, no boss, not possible to draft on a select face, of course. So, may as well do this chamfer. Cancel that, and then we'll select all the edges that we want to chamfer, which includes that one and that one. And we can sort of move around to make sure that we selected the right ones. And let's go chamfer. And the size that we want to chamfer it is, it's only doing two of the sides. that. Why is it only doing two of the sides? Let's try that again. Chamfer. Nice. So now it's doing it to all three of them. to go to New Denver tomorrow. So, six millimeters was the number, eh? Let's make it five. And then, go over the edge a little bit. That'll be good. Maybe even four millimeters and then go over the edge a lot. Let's do that. I think I can do that. And then, make a draft on the face. So I just gotta pick one of these corners and make a draft on the face. I choose this one. 
output. I'll go file save as. Eugene Jell cut corners. And so make select this face and then create sketch and then zoom in. It's weird it won't zoom in centered on there. that it goes like that. Create sketch. Face. Create sketch. And if I go like this. Huh. Anyway, I don't know exactly how to move sideways in this view, but whatever. Oh, maybe it's control middle. No. Alt middle? No. Shift middle. Yeah, shift middle. So I'll just go close and then select this again and then create a sketch. And then shift middle. That's what I want to do. So shift middle click to move around. Good to know you learn something new every day. To move around in that manner. So I want to zoom in just a bit and then start this sort of thing, whatever it's called. Actually, do it kind of close to the center of it, and but from here, about there, I want it to be about six millimeters wide. I wish I knew how. I think I want it to be closer to the bottom. So let's try that. Sounds good. And that looks about right. It's kind of right in the center of it. And then, so if I just hit close here, I think, then I can go pocket and then select how deep it wants to be. And let's just make it deeper and deeper until we see actually zoom out and kind of flip around here Let's see as we increase this depth we see our pocket emerge in there and it goes to there and that looks about right 27 millimeters and hopefully it'll be able to do all that overhang work we'll find out just go OK, and looks pretty good. There's a little bit of overhang that's created unnecessarily, so I'm going to go Control Z. Oh, Control Shift Z. Um, huh, can't seem to undo that. I'll save as. Corners, wire, pocket, save. Um, yeah, don't really like how it overhangs over there. Show, 
Normally I'd just go Control Z to remove it, but I've just got to delete the pocket. There we go. So let's go back to. Six millimeters is the magic number, it looks like. And I'll just do a quick measure to see if this is not overkill. Or so I want to go from that edge to that edge. Ten millimeters. That's more than what we need for the wire. So we only need about six millimeters. So that's overkill. And then go cancel, and then go pocket, delete the pocket, and then let's try this sketch or sketch two. Sketch two, let's try that. Measure here, create pocket.
try that. Sure. Take that. Eight millimeters, sure. Now sketch and pocket. Bigger channel than maybe we need, but I think it'll work. Let's see how it goes. Okay. And then go file, save as. And corner of the wire pocket. And that's pretty much what it is. Oh, that's the alternate version. Okay. So, we've got all that done. Now, I could make it fancy and add extra, extra features to go fillet top. So I'm going to save as before I do it. Wire pocket alt. Dash filleted top. I and mean, I'm just saving different versions as I go just for the hell of it, why not? So how do we fillet all these top edges? Well with the fillet tool of course. A fillet tool? Well what's that you say? A fillet knife? Uh not exactly, it's just a button you press in the software, but I love just sitting here. Rambling on, sing my song. So I'm just selecting the different edges. I'm gonna get this one too, and this edge here, and this edge there. And there's and then this edge, and then this edge, and then this edge, and then this edge. And that looks like all of those edges. And then if I just hit this button right here play of all those edges and bam and I can set the number seems like it doesn't really change between any of these so I'll just make it a one millimeter fillet very subtle fillet there it just makes the Edge is a little rounded. Uh, and I don't think I selected chamfer. Chamfer. Oh yeah, it looks like a fillet. Excellent. Uh, nice rounded edges on the top. I don't think I'll print this one to begin with. I'll just print the other one. It's simpler for the printer. Unless that can go wrong. But. Yeah, and all sorts of other nifty things could be done with all these crazy tools within Kai or FreeCAD, but for now, for my purposes, this is kind of cool, it's a thing, and in a bit I might try printing it, uh, but for now, I'm going to take a little break, so thanks for tuning it in, and I'll catch you next time, ciao for now.